G'day Wallaby Dick. It is terrible weather outside, so we're doing something a little bit different today. I'm here with Greg from Greg's Kitchen. Uh, his voyage down all the way from, you're from Queensland, aren't yep. you? Yep, yeah, uh, Brisbane at the moment. Brisbane. And it's been, what, nine, ten years? We're trying to figure out how long we're, it's been since we caught up. Yeah, it's been a while since we've uh, caught up with each other. And, well, we were down here on holidays and thought, wow, well, come and visit old Timmy here. and. Apparently he is a keen fisherman. I am. So today we can't get out and fish, so we're going to do a bit of an experiment. There's an ongoing debate between deep water species of what is the tastiest. We've got some gemfish that we caught in the previous episode that you may have watched. We've also got some blue eye, which is dripping all over the floor here, but we will clean that up later. Um, we've got some blue eye and also just some shallower water species, uh, which is our classic flathead. What we're aiming to do today is we're going to rate this. We're going to cook it, lightly pan fry each one, maybe with a little bit of Tasman sea salt. We've got some smoked sea salt. Yeah. This is created uh, on the east coast of Tasmania. Um, so we'll just lightly salt it, a little bit of salt and pepper. Yeah. And we might get the blindfold on and get a bit raunchy and, Ooh, and see. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and we'll see which fish we prefer. So without further ado, let's get into it. And if you haven't already, go and check out Greg's channel. There's going to be a link in the video description for that. Yeah, we're going to start cooking a salad. So now I've been told about this um, cherry tomato trick where you can get the cherry tomatoes and just slice them all at once. So this is it. Let's see okay. if we can get it on now, the first try. I'll start. Put the cherry tomatoes in here. There spread them out. That's it. Wonderful. They're all over now, it. Now we put the plate on top. Hopefully that's um, high enough. Yeah. And um, right, <laughs> you get the knife under. <laughs> Please too many cuts. <laughs> too many bugs. <laughs> right, and push that down and just slice. Slice straight over. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Here All we right. Go. The end result. Let's see if it's da, 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 da. Oh! oh my god. Oh, mate. Isn't that awesome? That, oh, that's the best trick that I ever invented. <laughs> mate, always you got ripper, a discount sticker. And chuck the tomatoes in. Oh, maybe not like that. Now, one of my favorite dressings is a Red Kelly's uh, traditional tangy. And gluten-free as well, so it's it's friendly for all. Yeah, that avocado's a little bit hey how are you? So I think that's going to uh, live somewhere else. It might be. We'll put that to rest somewhere. Else. We will definitely put it to rest. What we'll do is uh, we'll just uh, drizzle some of this over the top. Not too much because you don't want too much. You don't want but too much. Then we'll just stir it through as a, you know, uh, as you do. As you do. Perfect. So just mix that through. I'll tell you what, that looks good enough to eat. <laughs> I'd eat that. Yeah, I, well, I, we're going to eat that. <laughs> There you go, there's a nice salad. Pretty easy done. Mate, I love that tomato trick too. Yeah. Top shelf. I bet you didn't know that tomato trick. <laughs> He's got a cooking channel and he didn't even know the tomato trick. No, no, but I do now and it is one I'm going to be using here on in for the rest of my life. Well, there's one trick that you've done on your channel as well that I think is quite hilarious and that is uh, getting an empty bottle of soda to take out your egg white. Oh, uh, no. sorry, the egg yolk. And you can just... Scoop it up. That's and right. Put it oh, and if you made a mistake, you can just put it back as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome. Well, I think um, now that this is ready, let's get on to cooking some fish. Yes. So we've got our gem fish out, uh, and now it's on to the blue eye. Look at the size going. of that thing. <laughs> All right, I reckon we just cut a bit of it down here of the tail yep. for the test. We'll have, yeah. Bit of, bit of that one, bit of that one for the frying pan. Yep, maybe we'll do two strips. Okay, oh, so boy, yeah. that's some good looking fish. Oh yeah. And, yep. and, and then, then we've got, we've got, got flathead. the flathead. It's pretty much ready to go, really. Ready to go, rock and roll. <laughs> well, I reckon that fish is looking pretty tasty. It's that smelling is. nice in here. Sure so, is. Uh, let's, that's the, Blue eye. Blue eye, the flathead. And the jam. And your jam. 
Okay, here is all of the fish that we are going to be trying. We've got our blue eye, our gem fish, and our flathead. Which one do you think is going to taste the best? Let me know down below. And uh, we'll suss out if you're right later on. Oh yeah. I'm going to put some money on the gem fish being okay. a favourite. Mm. Um, but this is a tough one. Well, there we go. There are our three selections. Once again, comment down below which one you think we're going to enjoy the most. I am thinking the gem fish. The gem fish? Yeah. Me too. It's yeah. so funny. I, it's just very controversial of what oh. people think about the gem fish in comparison to blue eye. That seems to be what it goes to he head to head with. So that was the blue, blue eye. eye. That's the blue eye. That's the gem fish. That's the flathead. Ooh. So uh, in true Tazcar spirit, this is a pay your taxes t-shirt for our, uh, our blindfold. Yeah, so I've got a, going straight on you. I got a beautiful uh, <laughs> brown jumper, which was perfect because I left mine somewhere I probably shouldn't have. If you find a gray jumper in wine glass bay, it's mine. I forgot about that. Yeah, we're yeah. gonna <laughs> get my mouth covered. Now, how's that look? Yep, cool. Who said can that? Can you see anything? <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. Uh, yeah, I can see stuff. Oh, you're, right. walking, you're walking off camera. Oh, okay. Come back here. All right, there you go. So this is our first one. I'm going to put the name of it just down below. Here goes the first taste test. Oh, that looks so good. Alrighty, guys. <laughs> here comes the airplane. How's that one? That's really nice. It was chicken of the sea. Chicken of the sea? Mm, very nice and meaty tasting and yeah, really. Yeah, uh, mild fish flavor, mm. but. It's not oh, overpowering? No, it's just perfect. Cool. Oh, I love that one. That's good. Mm. All right. A little bit chewy, might have overcooked it. <laughs> May have overcooked it. Yeah. Okay, well, here's our second one. I'm going to uh, put the name of that just below as well. Let's make sure we get a nice, good piece for you. Here comes the airplane. Yay. And there you go. I'm actually very jealous mm. of, of not eating this when it's right in front oh. of my face. <laughs> nice that? taste. Oh. A little bit of a bone. Oh, that's a surprise bone. I win. <laughs> that's what we're not hoping well, that's for. That's really nice. Yeah? That's got a great flavour too. It's mm, a little bit more delicate than the first one. Yep. But, you know, not overly strong. A little bit stronger in the fishy flavour than the first one, I think. Interesting. Okay, mm. cool. Well, must be time for the lucky last, which is this. <laughs> Alrighty, here comes the aeroplane. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Mmm. What do you think of that one? Gee, I mean the, the first one and the third one, very similar tasting, I think. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's interesting. <clears throat> um, beautiful though. I mean that fish is delicious tasting and then yeah, it's nice and solid, firm meat. Also, uh, I think you can but, probably take this off now. But not a, <laughs> not a strong... Uh, not, <laughs> Welcome not, back! Not a, not a strong fishy flavour, but... So the last one wasn't a strong fishy flavour? No. <coughs> no, it was Excuse delicious. Me. Delicious. Cool. Like, all three of them were just amazing. But what would you say was the nicest out of the three? Before I forget which one I, I gave you first. Uh, I reckon... Oh gee, it was a, it's a tough one between the first one and the third one, uh -huh. but I think uh, probably the first one was probably the one I'd probably prefer. Right, okay, well, believe it or not, that is the blue eye. Oh, right. You preferred the blue eye. Okay. Well, I mean the- Which, which one did you think you, you liked? Was that the, you, well, you said gem fish and it was blue eye, which was this one. Yeah. That's what you liked. Most. I think it was, I don't know, because it was a meaty, uh, sort of chickeny sort of flavor. Uh, yep. It, Makes it, sense. it just tasted like a good, solid, meaty fish. Oh, really? The one that you pulled the bone oh, out I, of was I, the gem fish. Oh, I thought there was a flathead. No. Well, so the flathead was first. No, the flathead was last. Oh, last. 
All oh, right, so the flathead was last. The flathead was last. What, the that flathead was, was really nice. That's good. Uh, the gem fish. That is very nice. Um, yeah, that was the least favourite on the my least, list. Wow, there you go. Backing up some statements that yeah. some of my friends have said recently yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's interesting. Okay, I'm, I need to try this because I'm salivating. Um, yeah. So I'm going to chuck the blindfold on and you can feed me. All right. So here we go. The first fish that we're going to try today is this one here so let's see what seat. that one is oh yeah it's looking good uh, and we'll make sure there's no bones in this and it's a bit of a long piece open up uh, mm. oh my gosh that is so good mm. i could have mouthfuls of that a little bit of a fishy texture there but, hmm, I'm not too sure which one that is. I'm almost thinking that's the flathead, mm. but it is quite nice. Yeah. All right. Okay. More, fish please. number two. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love Let's fish. Let's try this. Oh, yum. Okay, here comes the airplane. La la la. Hmm. That tastes very similar to the one before him. Yeah, they all do taste quite similar. Same juices in, in the same pan, just make them taste the same. But well, I don't think so. Okay. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. Um, I quite like that one. That one was probably a little less fishier than the one prior, and very easy to eat a lot of. I think. Mm. I feel like the first one was delicious, but that one was just that little bit better. Okay. Mmm. Well, here we go. Fish number three. Fish number three. There we go. All right, open up. Ah. Uh, hmm. That is a tricky one. I can see how you struggled with this. <laughs> they all sort of do taste they the do same. They do taste very similar. Yeah. They, um, but was it better than the rest of them? I think I preferred the last one then, and then the second, and then third. So going backwards in the choices, yeah. I think the first one that I tasted, I didn't like as much. Okay. This is going to be so interesting. I can't wait to know the results. Wow. Um, second was, I felt was more smashable. Right. And third was just, I would annihilate that. So okay. please tell me the results. I'm so intrigued. Okay. Well. <laughs> The first fish yep. you tried was the gem. Was the gem. Really? Yeah. That was the fishiest of them all too. Oh my gosh, I've got this completely wrong. And the second, the flathead. Really? Yep. So Blue Eye takes it again. Blue Eye takes Blue it Eye again. Blue Eye takes it. Wow, there you go. I, I don't wonder if it's because that's been frozen for a couple of days, but normally when I have gem fish fresh, straight off the boat, that is my favorite. Mm. I, I mean, they're very similar in taste though. Yeah, they're all fantastic eating fish, but mm. yeah. Let us know in the comments down below what you thought was going to uh, take the cake and what your personal preference is out of flathead, blue eye, and gemfish. But isn't that hilarious? Yeah, today, blue eye takes the cake. Takes the cake. There you go, blue eye is the best. Yeah. The big blue nose Travella, as they say, or blue eye Travella. And the one that you were saying that was your favorite? Yep, was the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Some very interesting results there. I did not think that the blue eye was going to take the cake. I thought the gem fish would take it, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this little experiment that we've done for you today. Thanks for the fish. That's it. Don't forget to head over to Greg's channel, check that out. We'll see you in the next video and comment down below what your favorite species is between the flathead, gem fish, and blue eye. We'll see you in the next episode. See you later. Thanks for having me. Wallaby Dick. <laughs> <laughs> so much meat, so little time. So little time. Oh, a bit more, there's some salad. That'll fill us up. Maybe we should have cooked up some chips as well. Nah, How dare us. She'll be right. Well, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one, huh? Mahi mahi.